All right, keeping a close eye on another threat for severe weather this evening. There are some things that are a little different about tonight's setup as opposed to what we had to deal with last night. We had some spin in the atmosphere yesterday that created all those storms that produces tornadoes. Today, the wind shear, it's, there's not as much spin in the atmosphere. So what does that mean for us? Mainly a damaging wind threat. Let me show you what's going on right now. We are tracking a few areas of showers that are making their way across parts of Montgomery County through northern Prince George's County and then in parts of Anne Arundel County. These are not strong or severe. They're just areas of rain right now. But this is the latest storm track on the uh, this uh, one here that actually was a little stronger than it is right now. It is weakening. These storms have been struggling, but you see Crownsville just before six o'clock. Pasadena at about 604 and parole and Naples uh, towards 607 and 611 and it's basically going to follow right behind these other two cells and you see they're continuing to track over to the eastern shores a heads up for you over towards Kent Island you're going to be seeing these showers make their way into the region next 20 minutes or so and up towards Tolchester Beach as well as Rock Hall may see some downpours here in the next half hour again that severe thunderstorm watch amazing effect until 9 p.m. any storms that do occur could produce damaging wind gusts as well well as heavy rainfall. The greatest threat for this is likely going to be over towards the eastern shore in southern Maryland. And again, wind damage is going to be the primary threat with these storms for this evening. One of the things we like to measure in the atmosphere is dew point. Dew point basically is the measure of moisture in the atmosphere. When you start getting high numbers, you probably noticed last night and this morning how sticky it is outside. That's because these dew points are in the 70s. That's very muggy air. We're going to be tracking this cold front here. Notice how the dew points drop off. Hagerstown 62. Storms really like to develop in this kind of environment here where those dew points are high and it's very sticky outside. So it's really going to be right along that boundary and until it pushes eastward. Uh, that's where the storms are likely to fire up here for this evening. But temperatures have really rebounded this afternoon well into the 80s. We're going to be in the 60s here for tonight. Storm chances will gradually taper off, though, as we go into later on this evening as the front moves eastward across our area. Futurecast shows that they'll be out of the region here by later this evening and early tonight. And then tomorrow, we're going to have plenty of sunshine here throughout the day. So a very quiet Friday, maybe some clouds during the afternoon. The humidity will be lower. And temperatures will be again into the low to mid 80s. Very nice, warm and comfortable afternoon. Saturday looks good. Sunday looks fine. Just a few more clouds. Late day shower possible. But overall, it looks like a very nice forecast here for the upcoming weekend. So not expecting any issues with a significant chance for rain or any type of storms. It's just mainly the next few hours this evening that we'll have to contend with that chance for some strong to severe storms. So look at your Friday forecast. We're going to wake up the sunshine. And you're going to end the day with some sunshine here. Low to mid 80s, wall to wall sun here throughout the day. Here's your planning forecast here across the state, or at least across our area tomorrow. Over towards Denton and Caroline County, 85. Glen Burnie, 84. Owings Mills, 83. Mount Airy at 80 here for tomorrow. All right, here's the first alert. Seven day forecast. We're going to call it 85 tomorrow. Maybe a little cooler than that, but still it's going to be nice. Lower humidity, no storms in the forecast. So that's certainly some good news. And it looks like we uh, have a nice, comfortable night here for Friday night down to 60, 83 Saturday, 84 with a late shower on Sunday. And our next real significant chance for rain is not going to come, looks like, until next Wednesday, Thursday time frame. But overall, not bad. Yay. We deserve it. <laughs> you know, all of a sudden, the little showers don't mean like, so much as anymore. As soon as I heard that, I was like, finally, a yeah, break. I'm, I should be the one saying yay. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Marathon. <laughs>